Hi ladies, I'm here with my beautiful Natty and I have finally got somebody here who is going to go ahead and try on our pieces and just show you on a real person other than me what the pieces look like, um, you know, and hopefully that is going to be of some help. So let's go ahead. Right, we're going to go ahead and start with the little baby of the group, the 2.5 by 5. So we're just going to show you what Natty's hair looks like before. So there is just, um, you know, there's just some thinning that personally bothers her and the compact part of the 2.5 by 5 is just going to basically give her the illusion of a more compact looking part but at the same time it's going to be really flat to her head, no giveaway sign. I've matched to the best of her colour but um, this is for another client. If it was for Nadia I would have gone half a shade darker. Um, I've given it a bit of a natural looking texture so I'm going to go ahead and show the right application method. So she's parted her hair in the left. The silk based parting can be parted anywhere but I've parted it in the middle just because it fans around evenly. So she's parted in the middle in the, on the left and then we brought forward some hair like so and we're going to use that hair in a sec to go um, back and over. So if you just want to lean forward and then we will just show you how well and easily that clips on. So you go one, and stretch two, get that back clip three, and that last one four, and then smooth it out. And then, if you just want to just sit up, and then you can see how that has just instantly made her parting look more compact. And then you grab that hair that goes forward, and you just put it back and over like this. And this is the bit where you just play around and make it integrate with your own hair. There's not really much else you need to do. We'll just turn you around and just show from every angle. Show from the back. It's, good. it's, it's useful that my stool is nice yeah. and twisty, isn't it? <laughs> so you can see that the back's got a good amount of coverage and it gives her the illusion of layers because the topper is ever so slightly shorter than her own hair. Okay, so if you just want to face back at the front, what I want to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put some of the uh, Color Wow powder here. And I'm just going to blur out, do you know, it's really good for whites. I use mm. this daily on my own whites. Yeah, I've got something similar. It's so good. It's like super, super pigmented. And then I'm just going to blur basically your hair together with the topper. And then I want to just bring forward some of the hair from the silk base part in and just give you like the illusion of a nice little fringe, do you like that? I do actually, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I really like it. Now I'm like, oh, I think I'm going to wear my hair this oh, way now. Yeah. So yeah. <laughs> How pretty is that? So just close your eyes, I'm just going to spray a tiny bit. And then once you spray, it manipulates the hair just to sort of stay in place. And then that's it. There's not really much else to it. Ooh. They're human hair, so if you wanted to darken them, you can change the colour. The base won't stain. You can add more curls. If you get bored of the waves, you can straighten it. And that's it. So just lean forward one more time, just really show them that lovely silk base part. How does it feel on your hair? It's heads? fine. It's yeah? very light. Very light. You can't yeah. feel it. The clips, no, the clips aren't digging in. Really super small. Yeah, it's nice. I, I wouldn't think for a second that you had anything on. Yeah, and, and I wouldn't when worry, I'm, you know, like sometimes yeah. you can worry like, oh God, what if it yeah. tugs out of place? And you can, you, this is free part, so if you get bored of the part, you could just move it around the other way. Yeah. What I like to do sometimes is get the back and just give it a little back comb, just so then from the back it looks really, really nice and full. So then just lastly, I think just turn all the way around and just show them the absolute back, because I think that's what everybody wants to see. Yeah. So you can see the parting from the back, the little crown, and then just the extra hair. Looks so nice and thick from the back. All right, so that's it for the silk base parting. And should we try on some other sizes? Let's do it. Right, Nadia here is so excited to try the real hair messy bun. So go ahead and do your no, thing. Probably. She's never worn this before, so it's literally like a scrunchie. You just pull it, pulls and stretches. So here I'm we excited go. to see one. Two. You can tighten it as many times as you want. That looks so good. Ta da! I'm loving it. Give it a little twirl. Let's have a look. It's oh, wicked. I love, it. I love it. Yeah, I think it's brilliant. I love it. Do you know what? I'm actually going to let you have this. Oh, yeah. Thank I'm going to let you keep it. It looks so, so good on you. I'm loving thank that on you. you. All right, then. Keep on. I'm going to take some pictures now. Yeah. Hiya, so I'm back here with my lovely Nadi and we're going to go ahead and show the 4x5 which is a really good happy medium topper um, what it looks like on Nadi. So this is a step up from the silk base parting, it's an inch and a half wider than the previous baby which is the 2.5, you can see the difference there and you can see the difference in hair. So there is a little bit more on this one than there is on this one, I would say there's about 30 grams more. So let's go ahead, let's 
let's go ahead with our usual positioning so we're going to just use the front of Nadia's hair to come forwards because she's going to use that in a second to go back and over the top of her this really helps the blend so when someone looks face at her they see her own hair first before they see the top R. there is a slight color difference but that is because these are not custom for Nadia they're for my other lady so next time Nadia I promise I'll go <laughs> I'll go like one shade darker and it'll be perfect cool. Okay, so I'm just going to go ahead, I'm going to pull and stretch, just make sure it's nice and secure. And then I'm actually just going to spray, so just close your eyes one sec. Mm -hmm. Just going to spray, which helps the hair then listen to me better. And I'm going to just go back and over, like so, and then back and over, like so. And then I'm just, it's just a case of just positioning the hair how it looks nice you know on Nadi there's no rules here so if you just want to just see it's nice and full it's full from the back super flat just like the salt base parting was does it feel comfy mm, yeah perfect you can feel the like the weight but it's not heavy, heavy. yeah it's just a massive like there's a big yeah, difference you in can the feel two. that it's heavier it's than a lot more hair five. yeah yeah a lot more hair but don't you feel it's more volume it's nice yeah, yeah. Do you like it yeah it's really soft it it's so everybody soft. says that to me that the hair is super soft i love that it's just and it's everyone says it smells nice yeah let's put like a nice spray so i'm going to get my color out in black and i'm actually if you just lean forward i'm actually just going to root the top are a tiny bit because that helps it look like she's got a bit of roots coming through but black roots and it also helps mat the top are a tiny bit as well which I think looks really nice because if you've got black powder or any roof surrounding the silk edge the silk edge is then more prominent so to be honest with you again it's just the case of Nadia could now do what she wanted with her hair as long as it's comfy and it's flat and the hair is real you know real Remy hair mm. she knows it's gonna last at this point she can do what she wants so for example she could leave some of the top of here like that and then she could get like a little clip like so because everyone's always asking me can I tie my hair up of course you can I mean you can't raise it ridiculously high mm, because yeah. you know you don't want to put just flag, yeah, up, put flag up exactly but you can do like a really good medium type of side pony would look side good. pony or just if you just want to look like you're just running your errands you can just do like a twisty and then you can just twist it oh my god i've never had so much hair on top I know. <laughs> and then just sort of twist around the side and just show them like from the side what it looks like it just looks really casual and then from the back it just looks like she's just got loads of hair too much to, you know it's bothering her because there's so much hair and you're just getting on with your day yeah. <laughs> and worry. then what i love as well i just love doing this i know it's a little bit annoying it's nice though it's an annoying it. feeling but because yeah. i used to have a side fringe right in fact i still do because i've got such a long shaped head i've always got like a nut like a, yeah there has to be something there yeah. I, I can't have that i need something and oh it just God. looks nice it, it just does. it doesn't it it looks wicked i, I just feel like oh my god I've actually asked Nadia to write me a blog for my website because she's a blog writer and I thought what better to add a nice new blog to my website coming from someone who actually knows firsthand the experience of hair and understanding. So Definitely. then it's just a case of just letting it go and then you're like oh, I've got my lovely long hair yeah. there. You can, you know, you can go longer, you can go thicker. If she wanted to go longer I'd probably want to do a hair on a wire but we can save that for another day's video. So that's it. I think we should try on the five by six. What do you reckon? Yay. Yes, let's do it. <laughs> All right, ladies. Hi, yeah. So before we go ahead and put on the five by six, which is the thickest topper in the range, we're just going to go ahead and just show you exactly what Nadia's hair looks like before, so you really understand the difference once it goes on. So she's got a good amount at the back. The, her main problem area is just basically around the, the top, top and, the sides. and the sides and the front. So because the five by six is bigger, it's going to be great for the hair to then come forward and basically give you extra hair at the very front. Um, and then you can do fun things with that. You could cut a straight across fringe into the front, a side fringe. You can, if you get bored of the left hand part, you can sweep it the other way. And you could also have your hair up with it. So, so many style options. So this is gonna be the thickest amount of hair. So I'm gonna line up the part with Nadi's part, like so. And just get that first clip in. And just pull and stretch. I've actually closed the clips already. <laughs> I'm so used to just closing all the clips. <laughs> okay. Perfect. And I'm just going to spray, so just shut your eyes two seconds. Mm -hmm. 
so you see that the blend is almost seamless, especially as the topper is actually half a shade lighter than Nadi's hair. But I'm just going to go ahead, pull some of the hair back and over the front like so. And then I'm going to use my trusted Colour Wow powder just to cover a couple of the greys and help the blend between the two colours. I do this, you don't even have to have hair loss to do this, it just gives you the look of a more compact looking part blurs out the very very front and I think it looks good apparently Kim Kardashian does it so if it's good enough for if it's good enough for Kim K then it's good enough for us right yeah <laughs> she does it with her updos so she'll scrape her hair up and then she'll just do all of that area yeah it's where I what I do with my thinner uh sides when I put my hair up. Even I do, like, I, I, all of this whole area I filled it in. Yes, yeah, I, I just like my it. My side I have to as well. I just feel like I've got rid of my part and I, I don't even care, I like it. Okay, so, what do you think? Shall I it's this? thicker, it's, it's really thick. Thicker. How does it feel comfortable? Yeah, it is very comfortable. Considering it sits, this is the thickest. It sits really well, it doesn't feel like it's sticking upward. Literally, really your glam. ends look really, really blunt. Yeah, <laughs> they look really nice and blunt. Right, so go ahead and give them a twelve. Let's show them from every angle. Looks so good. I'll just move the camera back a tiny bit. It looks so, so good. I love it's that. So easy. Yeah, it's just. Wicked. So then again, what you could do is you could even do like a half up, half down kind of thing if you just wanted to just sort of get your hair like that and then just pinch Tire it. Away, yeah. And then you could just have like a half up or you could again do the whole thing up like we did in the previous clip. Yeah, you, could. you just play with it like yeah. exactly. It would be yours. So you could do like a low pony. You could do, oh, she likes the side pony. Yeah, it's I do. Nice. I like that. I like my little seniorita look. Yeah, you got a little flower. I've done yeah, little I do with the you. flowers in the summer. It looks so good, and then you can just even if you don't even want the parting to be that long, you can take the hair because it's a free part, pull it back. You don't even feel like it doesn't feel like because it's like tough. it mimics a real head. Yeah, so it just pulls. So back it's secure as well. Like completely. That's what's and if I, I just turn it to the side, if you was then to do like a little ponytail where I've back combed that back bit, you've then got like an instant beehive look. Which I think looks so so pretty. I love that. I'm gonna when you see when you watch the video back. So I know you can't see right now. Yeah. You see that you get like a ponytail with like a nice bump. So I'm absolutely loving it. You can leave it back combed and down. You don't even have to tie it up. Okay. It's just extra hair. Yeah. So that really is it for the five by six. I think it looks super on you. Um, especially if it was that half a shade darker. Yeah. And with a couple of washes as well, the topper will then take more form into your own hair texture. So if your own hair is a little bit dry, um, and then if you wash the top and then let it air dry, you get like a different kind of, you know, natural looking texture. You can straighten it sleek or you can curl it wavy. All right, so that's it for the five by six. I'm loving that on you. <laughs>